of Nick's Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus is great, and it's next. <laughs> Let this be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right back more. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril, I'm a magic school bus. Make a plane turn to take that. I'm a magic school bus. Rock the river of love, I'm a magic school bus. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pile on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. Maybe he ran out of seaweeds and had to go to the store for more. I can't believe he actually eats those things. He hasn't been able to eat anything else since he heard he was getting the Rocky Award. Can you believe it? Arnold is the first kid ever to win one of these. He's also the first kid ever to know enough about rocks to be a member of Granite. Look, there's Jasper C. Grit. Wow. Who's Jasper C. Grit? Carlos. He's the president of Granite, the great rock admirer's National Institute of Tectonics experts. And he doesn't look like the kind of guy you'd want to keep waiting. Miss Frizzle! Good evening, class. Arnold's not here yet, Miss Frizzle. Well, why don't I try to call our rock star on my cell phone? The Walkerville Hotel welcomes you to the annual Granite Awards, honoring the world's rock experts. Please make your way into the ballroom. Oh, it's too late. We can't go in without Arnold. Psst. Ralphie! It was me. Psst. It's coming from behind there. Psst, it's me! Arnold? Yes? What are you doing behind the curtain? Come on out. I can't. Why not? <gasps> is it just me? Or are you totally orange? It's not just you, but it is just me. I'm orange. Arnold, come on. Now stop eating those things. I can't. Dinner is about to be served. Please your tables and Oh, no. I can't go in there looking like a carrot. No point panicking, Arnold. As my great-aunt Selma used to say, when there's a problem staring you in the face, hit it with a question. A question? Yes. Such as, when did you first notice you were orange, Arnold? I didn't really notice until I got up this morning and looked in the mirror. <laughs> Today's the day. Today's the day. Huh? What color are your pajamas? Orange. It's my favorite color, except when it's on my skin. That's it. Maybe something from your pajamas rubbed off on your skin. But why now? I've been wearing those pajamas forever. Who knows? Let's just try to wash it off. To the bathroom. No, someone might see me. Well then, to the bus. Ow! Ouch! That hurts! You have to rub so hard. Sorry, Arnold, but you want it to come off, don't you? Of course I want it to come off. Is it off? Nope. So if the orange isn't on your skin, maybe it's in your skin. Daringly deduced, D.A. But how did it get there? How's my skin different from, say, Phoebe's? Good question, Arnold. Give me some skin. No, I mean, really. You want Arnold's skin? Hmm, the perfect place to begin the investigation. Um, you're not suggesting a field trip, are you, Miss Frizzle? Wow, it might be the only way to find out what's making you so orange. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself, Wanda. Let the celebration begin. But Miss Frizzle... <laughs> Everybody go. Do I still have all my skin? Where's the bus? Wait a second. Don't move, Arnold. Yikes! Arnold, we are being frizzled big time. We are? How? See for yourself. Whoa! 
Carlos, DA, and Tim are checking out the skin above your left eyebrow. Mm-hmm. And Ralphie, Keisha, and Liz are sitting on your glasses. No way. Yes way. Just don't move too quickly or we'll fall off. I don't believe this. Miss Frizzle, what kind of a field trip is this? The kind that answers your excellent question, Arnold. <laughs> What question? What's the difference between your skin and Phoebe's? Care to take a closer look, Wanda? Keisha, you guys find anything on Arnold's skin yet? We're just trying to find a way not to fall off. Us too. Well, class, you're going to have to get really small if you don't want to fall. What happened? Miss Brizzle, where's the rest of the class? They're still there, Wanda. We're just not looking close enough to see them. Yet. Here they are! Tim, Carlos, yay! Are you all right? I think so. Are we still on Phoebe's skin? That you are. Only double shrunk. Amazing. I always thought skin was smooth and plain, but it's not. It's made up of flat pieces of stuff all stuck together. And Phoebe's flat pieces flake off like, like cornflakes. And there are lots more underneath. Wow. Is that a hair? Hair raising, isn't it, Carlos? <laughs> Well, Arnold's pretty hairy, too. And his skin is made of flat pieces, just like Phoebe's. Only his are all orange. Oh, those flakes are Arnold's skin cells, Ralphie. Skin cells? I've heard of red blood cells, but skin cells? What are cells, anyway? Cells are the building blocks of life, Wanda. All living things are made of cells, and that includes you. Your whole body is made up of different kinds of cells, each with a different job to do. So, Arnold and Phoebe's skin are both made up of millions of skin cells, but for some reason... Arnold's cells are orange. I'm about to accept the most important award in my life. And what happens? I'm completely orange, and half of my class is on my forehead! But they're only trying to help. <sighs> Meanwhile, I guess all I can do is wait out here in the dark where no one can see me and eat my... <gasps> oh no! My seaweedies! <laughs> should have stayed home today. Hey, Wanda, have you found out why I'm orange yet? No, Arn, but believe me, we're working on it. What's taking so long? Patience, Arnold. As a former Miss America once said, beauty may be skin deep, but orange isn't. You know, Arnold, you aren't really all that orange. If we just covered it up a little, maybe no one would notice. Covered it up? With what? I have an idea. Come on. How does that jingle go? You can get the greedy greedies when eating seaweedies. Something, something, something in a seaweed coat so thin. Huh? Ralphie, Keisha, have you found out what's making Arnold's cells orange? Not yet, but when the cells on the top flake off, there are even more orange ones underneath. Now I can see how skin keeps germs from getting in your body. What could get past all these cells? Hey, what's going on? There. You don't look nearly so orange now. <laughs> Phoebe, I can't go out there covered in flour. I look like a pumpkin pie. You know what? I just thought of something. Janet came to stay with us a few weeks ago. I bet she made me orange. It's just the kind of thing she would do. <gasps> Phoebe, look, over there. Seaweedies. I wonder how far down in Arnold's skin the orange goes. Class, time to get under Arnold and Phoebe's skin. But how? There's no way in through the skin. <sighs> Try going in where the hair comes out. Well, if you say so. Go for it, Ralphie. We don't have much time. DA, Carlos, Tim, where are you now? Under Phoebe's skin. And the going is not easy. Yeah, but once you get past that top layer of cells, it's not quite as hard. Phoebe's cells down here are wetter and fatter. And none of them are orange. What about Arnold? I'm working my way through Arnold's skin. His cells are getting wetter and fatter, just like babies. But they're still orange. A colorful conclusion, Keisha. Now, why can't I remember that jingle? You can get the greedy greedies when eating seaweedies. Something, something. Oh, oh dear. Mayday, mayday. What is it, Ralphie? One of Arnold's cells is splitting in two. It's alive. His cells are alive. Baby cells are doing the same thing. They're multiplying like crazy, making more new cells. 
Well, notice, Wanda. Your body's made of living cells that just grow and divide. Grow and divide, grow and divide, grow and divide. But Arnold's new cells are just as orange as the old ones were. And there's not an orange cell anywhere in Phoebe's skin. So why are Arnold's skin cells orange? Whoa! It's hard to stay down here. New cells are pushing us back up to the top. But we haven't gotten to the bottom of Arnold's problem yet. Mrs. Frizzle, have you figured out what's making my skin orange yet? Your skin is orange because the skin cells are orange, Arnold. We just don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, dessert is ready to be served. Dessert? But after dessert, it's awards time. To the dining room. Oh no, they're taking us away. Now what do we do? I know. Keisha, Ralphie, where are you guys? What have you found out? All we know is that Arnold's cells are orange and we still can't figure out why. You guys aren't giving up, are you? We have no choice, Phoebes. The cells pushed us out. There's nothing else we can do. Bring us up, Miss Frizzle. What are we doing? And I'm down to my last seaweed. We've got to do something, Miss Frizzle. Well, Wanda, I think it's time to take chances, make mistakes, and get the inside story. On your marks, get set. This is it, Phoebe. My last seaweed before I humiliate myself in front of my fellow rock lovers. Woo! <laughs> Arnold, no! You say something, Phoebe? Arnold, whatever you do, don't swallow. Oh. The bus was on that seaweed you just ate at class. Oh no, not again! <laughs> You just did that, Arnold. You swallowed the whole class and the bus. I can't believe we're in Arnold's stomach again. Uh, it's just as I remember it. Only orangier. Hey, wait a minute. Where is all that orange mush coming from anyway? The only thing Arnold's been eating for weeks except us is seaweedies. And they're green. Green on the outside one, but orange on the inside. Of course! You can get the greedy greedies when eating a seaweedies. Chewy gooey carrot in a seaweed coat so thin. Eat a seaweedie and give yourself a grin! So all that orange stuff out there is coming from the carrot in the seaweedies? Wait, wait, wait! If Arnold's stomach is full of carrots and carrots are orange, maybe that's why Arnold's cells are orange too! Yeah, but how could the orange in Arnold's stomach get to his skin cells? The question we've all been waiting for, Keisha. Prepare to die. I wonder where they are now. I don't want to think about it. I just want to stop being orange. <gasps> Isn't he the kid who's winning the award? Oh, no. Where are we? We're in the small intestine. I recognize it from the last time we were here. Right you are, Carlos. This is the place where all the good things from the food we eat get into the bloodstream. And those things out there are the villa. Remember, they move the food into the bloodstream. Are they made up of cells, too, like Arnold's skin? Dynamic deduction, Wanda. Voila! Villa cells. You also have blood cells, skin cells, stomach cells, heart cells, muscle cells, bone cells. Your body is made up of billions and billions of cells, each with a job to do. So what's the job of these villi cells? Right now, they're sucking up the orange stuff. Their job must be to suck up food. Wonder where it goes from here. In the words of my old friend, Caratina, follow the orange stuff. Where are we going, Ms. Frizzle? We followed the orange stuff through the villi, and now we're heading for the bloodstream. In Arnold's bloodstream, and there are cells all around us. And orange stuff, too. So where's the orange stuff going, Ms. Brizzle? And can we get there fast? Arnold's in trouble out there. We're going back to where we started, and it's only a few heartbeats away. This award has never been presented to a child before. But as you now know, Arnold Pearlstein is no ordinary child. I'm so nervous, my heart's beating like crazy. Okay, we're heading for Arnold's forehead. Now what? Look! 
The orange stuff is disappearing through that wall. What's on the other side? That's my kind of question, Keisha. Hang out, Louie, Liz. We're here. Yay! We're back where we started. These are Arnold's skin cells. Cool. That means we've reached Arnold's skin from the inside. And we did it by following the orange stuff. And get this. Arnold's skin cells are drinking off the orange stuff from the seaweeds. Of course. Since cells are alive, they have to have food to live and grow. Even if the food is orange. Oh, capably concluded, class. You might even say, we are what we eat. And now, I am very proud to present this award to Arnold Perlstein. He said my name. I'm going up for the award now. And I'm still orange. Poor Arnold. He got himself into this by eating all those seaweedies, but he doesn't even know it. And even if you stop eating seaweedies now, it would take about 30 days for new cells that aren't orange to reach the surface of his skin. 30 days? He doesn't even have 30 seconds. Isn't there some way we could just suck up all the orange stuff? Well, ask Wanda. What do you think, Buzz? Coming, class? Wahoo! A fillet, Buzz! Mr. Grit's gonna see that I'm orange. Everyone will laugh. Get chance for this. Congratulations, son. Hey, I'm not orange anymore. I beg your pardon? I mean, thank you, sir. This is an honor. And I'd also like to thank my class and my teacher, Ms. Bristle, without whom I would never have been able to accept this award tonight. Ready to have your picture taken? Yes, sir. <coughs> you all right, son? I am now. You mean, it wasn't Janet? It was me? That's right, Arnold. You've only got yourself to blame. But how did I do it? Hey! Simple. Look! So, see me, these are orange inside. I know that. Arnold, your entire body is made of cells. And your cells are alive. Which means they need food. And where do your cells get their food? From what I eat? Exactly. So do your cells a favor and eat something else besides just seaweeds. As I always say, take care of your cells and your cells will take care of you. Hey, Arn, aren't you glad you're not orange anymore? Carlos! <laughs> <laughs>